Second race here at Ludlow's, the European Breeders' Fund novices handicap hurdle over two mile five furlongs. A really small field going to post here for horses rated up to 100. We've got Wood Last Drummer, the show price favourite for James Shea, Max for Alex Cherry, and Jovial Apparent for Thomas Rogers. So three horses going to post here. Tapes are up, starter lets them go. And they are off and running and heading towards that first flight of hurdles, of which there are going to be 13 for these novices to navigate here. And Jovial Apparent, the only one of the three who has uh, made a, a mishap uh, in those three races, those three opening weeks of the season, unseating the rider in week two for Thomas Rogers, uh, and comes here uh, the lowest rated horse in the race. So Max has that early lead for Alex Cherry, looking to go one better than the second and third place he had in the first race here at Ludlow. As they go on that overlay, undulating part of the course there and to the next flight of hurdles, all three of them over it safely. So Max has the lead, Jovial Apparent in second place and Woodlass Drummer, uh, who's gone off the favourite here in the dark green silks and the red hat for James Shea, the back marker of the three at the moment. But only a few lengths separating first from third at the moment as they come over the next woodlass drummer took off a little bit early there it was quite slow over that flight of hurdles but not a serious mistake as we come towards the two mile marker there's two miles left to go here at ludlow and 10 flights of hurdles next left to navigate as well so max extending that lead now has a lead of a good four lengths over jovial apparent and woodlass drummer who are racing pretty much side by side in second and third Modest pace being set here by the leader. It's going to be somewhat of a tactical affair. This leader might be looking to try and get first run and slip away from these uh, if if the other two allow it as we come towards the closing stages of the race in the circuit's time. So they all get over that one as the camera pans away here. You can see those horses all travelling strongly as you would expect with a good 13 furlongs left to go here. And they get over that next flight. Slow jump at the rear of the field from Jovial Apparent and who, as we know, is the one of these three that hasn't been particularly fluid over the hurdles. I'm not sure what those people are watching. Um, it's tend to be tur turning their back and almost doing the Poznan on these uh, three horses at the moment. Strange shot. Um, certainly not the direction you would be expecting the race goes to be, unless they're watching some races from some of the other meetings on the big screens there. Anyway, back to the action. It's Max in the lead as they start a swing right-handed. Woodlast Drummer has moved up to be much closer to that one. Um, but you could say, rather than Woodlast Drummer attempting to get much closer to the leader, it's that Jovial Apparent has just slipped away and has lost a good 10 to 15 lengths at least on that one. And is looking a bit detached and lonely at the rear of the field and is going to have to make some significant progress to close this gap. And wouldn't want it to widen any further, that's for sure, as we come to just over a mile left to go in this European Breeders Fund Novices Handicap Hurdle. Still Max, the long-time leader for Eric, Alex Cherry, has a gap of around three lengths to Woodless Drummer, the favourite, as they come to that next flight of hurdles. Jovial Apparent is now looking to try and close up the gap but to the horse, to the favourite, that is Woodless Drummer, but Max is the long-time leader that they're all going to have to catch, but that horse in second and third now are really starting to close the gap, and just as I say that, Max is going to start trying to kick on a little bit and try and put these horses under a bit of pressure being ridden along off the back out uh, the back of that hurdle and jovial apparent has smoothly moved up alongside woodless drummer now and is now about to go into second place so into the final five and a half furlongs and swinging right-handed here coming towards the home straight max still has a lead of around seven or eight lengths as they come the next flight of hurdles slightly slower jump from jovial apparent and that allowed the favorite woodlass drummer to move back past that one but still max traveling strongly in the lead and has that advantage has that lead uh, that they can try and make the most of and really take advantage and put these horses under pressure as we come inside the final four furlongs and the jockey now getting to work on Max is going to look to pile this pressure on Jovial Apparent is the one that sets off in pursuit and Woodlass Drummer the jockey getting to work on the favourite and you wouldn't be feeling super confident if you backed the favourite at the moment with two and a half furlongs left to go is really going to have to get motor in to catch Max into the final two and a half furlongs and swinging out right handed to the next hurdle and into the home straight Max didn't get 
too high over it but did jump it really slickly still and with a furlong and a half left to go if anything Max is going further away from these but now it might be that the tank is starting to empty and slow jump over the final flight the second last flight sorry from Max and the jockey looking over the left shoulder but I think he needs to focus on what's ahead of him that flight of hurdles and getting over it because the horse is looking tired and would last drummer and Jovial Apparent are coming hard at Max now but the line is coming up here and Max is going to hold them off and repel all challenges as he as they come to the line Max it's either a supremely confident ride from the long time leader or the petrol tank just hit empty and the favourite and uh, Jovial Apparent really started to close the gap but the jockey on Max never looked hugely concerned was never hard at work and it's paid off as Max crosses the line and wins this European Breeders for Novices Handicap Hurdle for Alex Cherry follows up a second and third place finish in the first race here at Ludlow with a winner in the second Woodless Drummer the 11 to 10 favourite, never nearer than it was at the finish, beaten ahead into second, and Jovial Apparent just behind those in third, and what ended up being a bunched finish here at Ludlow, but congratulations to Max, the winner for Alex Cherry.